Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So as normal, we've got like 10 sales or so. I think I might have a couple of, couple more this week actually. Um, and yeah, we're just going to run through these. Also, I've got a couple of sales that are outside of this sort of week period. So for the last few weeks, what I've been doing is basically I've been recording a sales update every Friday and I've been doing pretty much sales within that Friday to Friday period kind of thing. Um, but this week, I've actually picked out a couple of sales that were from a couple of weeks ago for just a couple of different reasons really so anyway the first sale here is one of those items so the reason why I wanted to pick this one out I don't know why I didn't include it in my other sales update actually last week um, but basically I wanted to include this with uh, this one because it's quite interesting uh, this army combat uh, jacket DPM um, just like a lightweight jacket um, essentially I bought a load of these ages ago from the auction house like it was a household auction and these are so cool because basically I was in profit like ages and ages and ages ago on these. And I've still got some. I think I've still got like seven or eight listed. Um, and they just keep selling through for me. And it's things like these that are absolutely brilliant. Things like these that are just like um, perfect in reselling. Like the perfect pickup. You, you just get a job lot. You end up becoming in profit on it quite quickly. And then you've got so much left still to sell. And, and after fees and postage. Um, it's just, you know, pure profit. So, yeah, I wanted to share that one. Obviously, those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you will have seen a lot of these in sales updates. And, yeah, it's nice to see that they're still going and I've still got a few still to sell. So, yeah, that's quite a nice item there. And I just wanted to uh, quickly show that one. Uh, next, we've got these vintage silver-plated Falstaff uh, cocktail forks or seafood forks. I wasn't too sure what they were. Uh, oh, and I put pickle forks in there as well. I suppose you could use them for a variety of different things, really. Probably the the thing that they're maybe maybe most well used for is uh, pickles, obviously, and things like that. Um, but yeah, I just kind of put in the title loads of different things to help pick them up in search. Um, and yeah, there we go, ten quid for them, free postage. Really nice, considering these were just you know three little tiny forks, nothing incredibly special or anything. Obviously, you've got the name there, Falstaff, which isn't particularly like a, an amazingly expensive makers or anything in terms of on on eBay in the used market. Um, but, you know, it's still, it's got a name to it, attributed to it, which always helps. And uh, yeah, 10 quid for them. So I was more than happy with that little sale there. Um, so yeah, just the three little forks, 10 quid. I was uh, really happy with that one. Uh, next, we've got this coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. You may have seen this already or you might not have seen this already. I'm not sure which... I'm not sure which videos I've scheduled where, so I'm thinking that you will have seen this whole video already, um, but I'm not too sure. But if you have seen the whole video, then you will know that obviously this came from the newspaper's job lot. I paid like 10 quid plus commission for in the, in the auction. And I said in the whole video, I, hopefully I'll get about a tenner for it. And yeah, it went for a tenner probably within... I don't know, about a week or so, so I was more than happy with that. Could I have pushed for a little bit more? Maybe could have got 12 99 or something. Uh, maybe I could have, but, you know, I'm more than happy just to get rid of it for a tenner, uh, get some money out of that job lot, obviously, and uh, and just keep listing the other stuff from it, really. Um, so, yeah, 9 95 on that one there. Um, I did have to actually put this in a box and then fold the box down because the, the, large, the jiffy bags that I have... Um, they just this wouldn't just fit in one and I was so annoyed because like oh god I, you know um, what I would have done is put it in the jiffy bag and then put like a slip of cardboard in with it to keep it rigid um, you know it just makes it easier but like because it didn't fit in there I was like oh god I've got to get a box and cut the box down and do all that but anyway it worked out in the end and I managed to uh, ship this off but yeah that's that one there next we've got some Laura Ashley wallpaper this is the Ella uh, Berry wallpaper three times rolls here and they're all the same batch number be careful that when you're getting Laura Ashley wallpaper make sure they're the same batch um, obviously, I, I think, I mean, I don't really know much about wallpaper or anything like that, but I think if it isn't the same batch, I don't think the colour matches up right, or I don't think the pattern matches up quite right. I think that's something to do with it anyway. So make sure you're always getting the same batch number with these. Um, you can get different batch numbers, and then you could probably sell them by individual roll for like, well, depending on the pattern, usually uh, your Laura Ashley wallpaper about anywhere from like, 12 99 to all the way up to maybe 20 quid per roll depending on the style and stuff um but yeah 
Uh, with these ones, it, I don't think this was an incredibly sought after style or anything. I did decide to put these on auction at... I think it was $29.99 first off because I thought, right, I'll just get them out quickly on auction. Um, it was a little bit of RA. I paid £3 per roll in the sale, so £9 total. But they didn't go on, at first time on auction $29.99. So I dropped them to $24.99, hoping that maybe I'd get another couple of bids and would go up a little bit. Um, but they didn't. They only got $29.99 plus postage. But I was still fairly happy with that, considering it was RA. I've doubled my money or just over doubled my money. And it didn't take incredible incredibly long to sell it was only a few times round on auction and then they ended up selling um, but also I got some other low Ashley wallpaper now this is a sale from quite a while ago as you can see 28th of December they didn't actually pay for this item for quite a while so I didn't show it on a sales update because I don't want to show it on a sales update if they haven't paid for it because it's not really a complete you know like a completed sale um, so yeah they have paid for it now I've shipped it off all the rest of it shipped it off like it must have been a week ago now or, or getting close to that. Um, so yeah, I got $59.99 for these on Buy It Now. So this is quite interesting to see because we got this one on auction, $24.99. Maybe if I put these on Buy It Now, I could have got like $29.99. $34.99, maybe even 40 quid if I was waiting, something like that. I'm not sure, but I'm I'm guesstimating there. Um, I would have got more than $24.99 anyway. And then we've got these four rolls here. Obviously, granted, it's a different pattern, but you can see on Buy It Now, I've got $59.99, which is £15 a roll, pretty much. So, um, yeah, it, definitely with these in the future, it was just a little experiment to put it on auction and see if I can get a quick flip on it. Um, but certainly in future, when I'm picking these up from, uh, you know, Laura Ashley store, when they're in a sale there's loads of these in in sales on Laura Ashley it's crazy not on the website but when you go into the stores and stuff uh, they seem to have these on sale quite a lot loads of different roles um but yeah so essentially I'm going to be putting these on buy it now in future and I could get some really good money so I paid uh, three pound a roll again for these so that would be a 12 pound cost so for both of the two I paid 21 quid and I've, I've made about well in in sales I've made like 85 quid plus my postage um, so yeah 21 quid into like 85 quid plus postage I'm more than happy with that bear in mind these ones are free postage though so I've got postage to come off that 85 pound as well because as I say uh, I've marked these up as free post but still pretty happy with that margin nice little bit of RA and I've never done retail arbitrage in terms of wallpaper or anything like that before so that was pretty interesting so yeah I won't spend any more time on those uh, next we've got one of these Hobbit figures from the from the auction from the car boot on well it was actually a couple of Sundays ago now um, but yeah the Hobbit collectible action figure uh, figures this is a double pack Feely and Keely the Dwarf uh, or the Dwarves uh, yeah, twelve ninety nine on these plus postage. More than happy with these. I just want to get a few of these out, to be honest, at this point. Um, and yeah, I mean, this sold probably about in about a week or something. So I'm hoping that slowly the others do get picked off. I have done a couple of bundles as well. As well. Like I think I've done like Gandalf with Bilbo and just charged a little bit more for the for the two figure bundle type type thing and see if they go well as a little bundle. Um, but yeah, for most of the other figures, I've put a standard range on of these. Of like either the twelve ninety nine there, as you see, I think I put a couple on at fourteen ninety nine as well, and see if I can push the price a little bit. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with those. Um, and as I say, this will just go towards paying for that uh, thirty pound purchase for those uh, for those Hobbit figures. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Uh, next, we've got these Wedgwood A Child's Christmas collectible plates. These have been on for so long that I don't even know where these came from. I know it was an auction. I know that much. It was damn. Pretty sure this was an auction. Um, this came from an auction, but I don't know what auction. Don't know whether it was from the household auction that I used to do, or whether it was from uh, the the auction house that I currently go to. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Um, but yeah, twenty quid, twenty pound eighteen on these plus my postage. You can tell it was a while ago. Again, as I always state, um, obviously my Hermes shipping is lower than I charge currently, so that's how you can generally tell. Um, you know, that obviously it's an older item, as well as the photo, but with this one, I think this was on my 
uh, photo area that I'm using now, so you couldn't really tell that much anyway. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, £20.18 plus postage. Obviously, you can see there by the £20.18, I've done some reductions over time. I think I may have had these on for £24.99, maybe even £29.99 at some point, like months and months and months ago. Um, but over time, I just reduced, 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 and um, it's ended up going down to that random figure there. And yeah, you know, still pretty happy with those. I'm sure there's going to be some good profit in them for me, you know, whatever auction job lot they came out of. But I can't even attribute a cost to them because I just do not know what job lot they came out of. But yeah, that's those there anyway. Uh, next, we've got this Vintage C and Co. Silver Plate Fish uh, Serving Knife and Fork. I think this came... Did this come with a lot? I think this came with a load of... Uh, various different cutlery you know like um cased cutlery like there was a job lot of cased cutlery i think that came in in there um and you can see here i got 14 pound 83 again an item that's been on for i'd say a few months i wouldn't say ages and ages and ages but maybe two three months something like that and you can see 1483 plus postage uh vintage cinco uh you know fish uh, knife and fork uh, pretty cool. I always uh, like to pick these up at the auction. You've got to be careful listing knives. Just be careful with certain knives because obviously you don't want to get a policy violation or anything like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, 1483 plus my posting on them. So a nice little sale. I think these have got uh, like, um, well, we've got some sort of faux bone handles. I don't know whether it's made of ivory or, or whatever, but it's some sort of faux bo bone handle there. But again, I think you've got to be careful putting faux bone in your title now. So I don't do that either anymore. More. Um, next we've got this vintage metal leather uh, whiskey hip flecker. I think it's actually glass as well inside so I should have put um, glass because it's got a metal cap but I think it's glass inside but yeah uh, vintage metal leather whiskey hip flask 14.99 plus postage I actually undersold one of these a while ago uh, for about £10 plus postage and it went really really quick so I was like Ah, uh, hang on a minute, these are worth more than, than that, and maybe I could have even got a little bit more on this one. You can see my title, it maybe could do with a little bit of padding out, so if I padded it out a bit more, maybe I could have shot for 19 99 and maybe I would have still got it after a while. Um, but I'm more than, more than happy with a 14 99 This just came in, again, just a random auction job lot. It was in a job lot with... Um, Oh, what was in the job lot? Like, loads of different little collectibles and stuff was in it. I think I think it was probably, like, a £20 job lot from the auction, something like that. Um, but I got this. I had another whiskey flask in there. I, well, actually, I had another, a, a few whiskey flas flasks in there. I had, like, it came in this little box. I can't remember what the box was like. It wasn't a metal box. It was, like, a wooden box. I think I've still got it in my lockup somewhere. But I'm thinking I might sell that box as well. So, yeah, anyway, that's where that is. Um, obviously, for 14.99 plus post on that, so I'm pretty happy with that one there. Next is something pretty cool. So you may remember, it might have been a few days ago, it might have been a week ago or so uh, when I published this whole video, but I picked these two bowls up for a pound each, and I was surprised that they even really still had van value because I thought that the market would be saturated. Um, and so what I did was, this was actually on Tuesday for me because I'm recording this video a, a week earlier or so. Um, actually, this video might not have even come out yet by the time you... Yeah, actually, when's that video... One sec. When's that video coming out? I know, you might have seen it. No, no, you won't have even seen this video yet. Oh my god, that's crazy. So you won't you won't see this pick up until tomorrow, right? I think. I think if I've got my scheduling times right. Um but basically this Tuesday, we're now on Friday the twenty fifth of January, just to give you some context. But this Tuesday I picked these up for a pound each, and you will see them in the hall tomorrow. And I, I listed them on Wednesday. And I was, uh, you know, I put, I said in the haul I was going to put these on at 19.99 plus postage. And then they sold within a couple of days. They sold this morning. It, it's Friday morning now. Um, and they sold this morning. And uh, yeah, I was really, really happy to get 20 quid plus postage. Sold within a couple of days. And it made me think when I, when these sold of something that I wanted to express in the sales update right now. And that is the fact that this, these kind of items are just perfect little flips that you just want to be getting all the time you know like you know one or two pound or three pound or whatever you buy them you list them one day they sell a couple of days later for a decent price for a good strong price and a good strong profit and you know you just flip them around 
I don't know what my profit is on this. I'm guessing about 14, 15 pounds, something like that. Might be a little bit less, but it'll be in that range, I would say, after my postage and my fees, etc. Probably about 15 quid, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I don't actually... I'm way beyond the point of doing a spreadsheet and typing in the, you know, the profit to get it out. I can do it all in my mind pretty much now anyway, give or take, you know, a pound or two. Um, and, you know, that's fine by me. So, um, yeah, good, strong profit. And these are the kind of items you want to be getting. You want to be picking up um, and just listing, selling, and then flipping that money, flipping that profit, that 14, 15 pound or whatever the profit would be, um, in, back into your business, into more of items, and then it just grows and grows and grows. So these are just a perfect example of, of just a good item to pick up and just, you know, a good quick flip and, and just something uh, that generally just works out, you know, really well. So, yeah, anyway, that's those there. So next we've got this vintage He-Man uh, Moto Mossman figure, 1980s. I got this from a contact a while back. Um, he was basically giving me, well not giving me, but selling to me um, a large amount of items that he's kind of collected and amassed over the years. Um, he, he was a reseller at, at one point, but um, he kind of gave most of it up. He was kind of doing it a little bit of a hobby, you know, every now and then sell a few items. But he had that much stuff left over that he just wanted to get rid of it, to be honest. So he... Uh, over about a period of six months to a year, um, I went round his house about five or six times and got about a carload of stuff each time I was going round there. And uh, yeah, so this is basically just a part of that job lot. Uh, you can see there, 10.99 plus postage on that one. Took a while to sell, but I'm probably attributing that because I'm probably attributing that to the, the lack of keywords in the title. It's not a very well structured title. Uh, generally, by my standards, I try and do a lot more keywords than that. And as you will be aware, you know, if you watch my sales updates for a while, I generally do on the most part, sort of 80% of the time do really good, uh, you know, strong keyword titles. Um, and yeah, with this one, obviously, I just didn't do that or I could, maybe couldn't think of any more keywords at the time because this is a little bit outside my kind of comfort zone or outside my knowledge base. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that's probably why it took a little bit longer to sell. Um, but yeah, 1099 plus postage on that. And I will leave it yeah, there, guys. If you did enjoy the video, as always, then please do leave a like on it. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, if you like this style of content, then please do consider subscribing. And if you haven't already, oh yeah, I've already said that. Well, oh, I've lost my train of thought. What I was going to say is leave a comment down below um, if you have any questions, queries or anything like that. But I was almost going to say leave a like on the video twice. But yeah, anyway, right. This is a disastrous end to the video. Cut the video here.